Welcome to the math review. So in this question, we're being asked to evaluate the following expression. And it says 5 squared, or 5 to the second power, times 5 and 3 fifths minus 2, minus 2 to the fourth power. Now there's a whole bunch of different operations here, and the real question is what do we have to do first? And in order to figure out what it is we have to do first, we refer to the order of operations. That order of operations tells us what goes first. So let's write the order of operations, also known as PEMDAS, along the side here. So here's our order of operations, PEMDAS. It might look a little different from what you're used to seeing, but PEMDAS only has four steps. And here they are. Step one is to solve any work or do any work that's inside of parentheses. Step two is to evaluate any exponents you see. So for example, here we have a to the x power. We would have to evaluate that exponent. Step three is a little bit tricky, and step four is tricky as well. Step three is multiplication or division from left to right, whichever comes first, which means that once you get to step three, you should start at the left side of the expression and evaluate anything from left to right, any multiplication division you see. Doesn't really matter if it's division or multiplication, whatever you see first from left to right is what you'll do, and that's the same exact thing we'll do with step four. So let's put this into action. So the first thing we need to do is evaluate any parentheses we see. And we have a set of parentheses right here. And inside those parentheses, we have five and three fifths minus two. Now what I'd like to do is just bring down our answer. So let's set up a little work area on the side over here. So PEMDAS is over here. So I'm gonna write a number one, and I'm gonna show the work for PEMDAS. So we'll have the work for five and three fifths minus two. Now that's not too bad because here we have our whole numbers lined up and our fractions lined up, but the second number is a whole number, so there's really no fractions. So it's like saying three fifths minus zero, and that's just three fifths. And then I've got five minus two, and that's just three. So the result of our work in parentheses, which is five and three fifths minus two, is three and three fifths. So I'll write that right below. And I'm just gonna bring down now anything that I haven't used. I haven't used the five to the second power yet, so I'll bring that down. I haven't used my multiplication yet, so I'll bring that down as well. I brought down my five to the second. I'll bring down my multiplication. The result of the work in parentheses is written down here, and I haven't used my minus sign yet, and I haven't used my 2 to the 4th. So do you see any more parentheses in our new expression down here? No. So I'm all done with parentheses, and I'll check that off. The next step is evaluating exponents. So I'll set up a new work area for that, and I'll even change colors. Now, I see two exponents here. I've got five to the second power, and I've got two to the fourth power. So what I'm gonna do first is I'll evaluate five to the second, explaining it as I go. So if we have five to the second, that's over here, five to the second, this exponent tells me how many times I multiply this base. So I'm gonna put two little blanks here and show that I'm multiplying them. And then I'll fill the blanks with the base. That's going to be 5 times 5, and that equals 25. So here, where I see 5 to the second power, now I'll write 25 instead. Now, I'll evaluate any other exponents I have, which is here, 2 to the fourth. So I'll do that over here. Two to the fourth power means I'm taking this two and I'm multiplying it four times. So I'll write four dashes. One times two times three times four. And in those dashes, I'll write twos because that's the base, that's the number I'm multiplying four separate times. Now let's move up a little bit. Two times two is four. Two times two here is four. And 
and 4 times 4 is 16. So here, where I see 2 to the 4th, I'll write down 16 below that. So I'm done with my exponents because I have no more exponents to evaluate. So we're done with step two. But I still have to bring down anything I haven't used yet. I haven't used my times. I haven't used three and three fifths yet. And I haven't used this minus sign. So now let's get to step three, which is multiplication or division from left to right. So do you see any multiplication here? Well, yeah, I see this 25 times three and three fifths. Now the best way to do that is to take this mixed number and turn it into an improper fraction. In order to do that, we're gonna multiply five times three, and that's gonna be 15 plus three is 18. So that's going to become 18 over 5. And we'll bring down our multiplication symbol. And then this 25 is just going to become 25 over 1. Now, we could multiply 25 times 18, but there is actually a shortcut. It's called cross cancellation. If you look diagonally across at your fractions, if you can cancel out or divide both numbers by the same number, you can do that. So for example, here I have five here and 25 here. So to make that math a little bit easier, I can do the following. I'll take five and divide that by five, that'll give me one. And then I'll take 25 and I'll divide that by five and that will give me five. So now instead what we're working with is 5 over 1, 5 over 1 times 18 over 1. And let's do this work on the side over here. So this is just 5 times 18. We can do that on the side. We'll have 18 times 5. 5 times 8 is 40. I'll bring down the 0. I'll carry the 4. And then 5 times 1 is 5 plus 4 is 9. So that's going to be 90. So this equals 90 over 1, which equals 90. So I now know that this multiplication, 25 times 3 and 3 fifths, will give me 90. So now what I can do is I can just write that as being 90. And I know there's a little extra work here, so I want to be extra neat. So I'm just going to show it like this. 25 times three and three fifths, that gives me 90. And then I'll bring down what I haven't used yet, which is my minus 16. So now, do you see any other multiplication or division in our expression? No, we're done with that. So now we move on to our last step, step four, which is addition or subtraction from left to right. And the only thing I see here is 90 minus 16. So I'll do that work on the side here. I'm going to have to borrow from the 9. The 9 is going to become 8. This will become 10. 10 minus 6 is 4. 8 minus 1 is 7. So 90 minus 16 equals 74. So after evaluating this expression, the final answer is 74. Thanks for watching our video on the math review. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. We might use your question in our next video. And if you found this lesson helpful, please make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. And it would really help if you share this and our other videos to any of your social media platforms. See you next time on The Math Review.